Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing another empties video. I have a new basket and quite a lot of empties to go through, so before we jump into the video, I hope if you'd like to, you would consider subscribing so that you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. All right, let me organize all these empties first. Okay, so the first empty I have is a samples kind of set of cleansing wipes. This is from Simple, and these are the Sensitive Skin Experts Kinda Skin Cleansing Wipes. I didn't like these as much as I thought I would. Of course, my holy grail are the Neutrogena ones, and I'll just show you in a second how many of those I have empties of but I mean it got the makeup off but I f it felt like I was tugging too much on my skin I felt like I was wiping too much on my skin so I wasn't a huge fan of this brand of wipe moving on to the brand that I really like one two three four five six seven <laughs> seven empty packages of my favorite makeup removing cloths these are from neutrogena and these are just the regular makeup removing cleansing towelettes personally i like the purple package a little bit better just because i feel like the the lavender scent is a little bit more calming to my skin but these are still great they get everything off they need them to get it off they're just incredible i use these every night when i'm taking my makeup off i also use them just to kind of wipe down my desk if it ever needs a good wipe down i buy these in bulk at costco and they're just super affordable and incredible i actually have a perfume empty this time around and this is from avon i actually really like avon fragrances and my favorite line are their haiku fragrances this is the blue bottle and it's called reflection and it smells very light and fresh i'm getting um there was another perfume and a blue bottle. I think it was Dulce and Gabbana, the light blue bottle. And it smells a lot like that one. But it's a very nice light fragrance. I think it's perfect for spring. It's perfect for early fall. It's not too overpowering, so it'll just give you a little bit of a nice mist and total use of the bottle. I go through these Haiku fragrances fairly often because it is my everyday go-to perfume. My favorites are the ones in the blue bottle and then I love the one in the pink bottle. I currently am using that one right now. Next I have two hair care empties and I believe I already talked about these in my last hair care video. If you missed that I'll throw it up in the cards. But I have an empty of the Diva Curl Styling Cream which I've already purchased again because I love the way that this cream works with my hair. And I have an empty of the Curl Keeper Gel. I think this gel, looking back now and experimenting with other gels, might be too crunchy for my hair but it was a great hold all during the summer. So I think I'm just gonna have to hold on to the other, the, other, the, other, the other bottle that I have until the summer because that's when I saw it working the best with my hair because my hair will poof and frizz and go nuts in the summer. Let's go through skincare next. I have two empty bottles of my favorite vitamin C serum and this is from the Measurable But Diff... Can I talk today? And this is from The Measurable Difference. This is just the vitamin C serum that I pick up from TJ Maxx. These are $6 a bottle and I love them. I use it every morning in my skincare routine. I talk about it a little bit more in my last skincare video. I'll throw that up in the cards if you did miss that. The next empty I have is more of a sample that I was testing out and this is from Cetaphil. This is their moisturizing cream for dry sensitive skin. I really liked this moisturizer. I'm currently testing out another moisturizer right now and I do have another backup of my Clinique moisturizer that I do love. But the next time I'm in the market for a moisturizer and especially an affordable moisturizer, I will be reaching for this one. The next empty I have is from Clinique and this is a bottle of their Moisture Surge Intense moisturizer. I used up this whole bottle and it was actually like too much moisture for my skin. Like I felt like I was overloading my skin with moisture. And then after I stopped using it, my skin felt really dry after. It just, it wasn't a good formula for my skin. I know I have a, a moisturizer and a cleanser and everything that works really well for my skin and balances it out really well. This was very moisturizing, but I couldn't use it daily. Like it, it would overload my skin. It's nice to use once in a while, like after you like shovel snow or if you've had a really long dry day. It's a great periodic treatment, not something I would reach for every day. 
The last skincare empty that I have is from Sunday Riley, and this is the Luna Sleeping Night Oil. I am so glad that I found a dupe for this because this size bottle right here is over $100. Yeah, so I used up this one. I have a little mini bottle of this that I'm working through, but I've already found my affordable drugstore dupe. So I will be using that one instead of this from now on. Let's jump into my makeup empties now. So the first makeup empty I have is my Holy Grail foundation. This is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation in the shade 030. I did a whole video about this foundation and their shade range, so I'll throw it up in the cards if you do want to check that out. Next, I believe I already talked about this one on my channel as well, but I had an empty of my favorite white mixer. This is the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation in the shade White. I already bought another one of these like immediately after I ran out. It's my favorite way to lighten up darker foundations that just don't work for me. My next empty is from Ulta Beauty. So this is the Ulta Beauty Brow Tint in Deep. I had a couple of backups of this and it's just my favorite thing to use when I don't want to go for a super intense brow because like the shape of the spoolie is perfect for my brows. The shade is really, really nice and it actually holds all my hairs down and in place throughout the day. Love it. The next empty I have is from Rimmel. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Loose Powder. And I really liked using this in my really oily areas on my face to set. I used to use this to bake my under eyes, but I found that it, it would be a little bit too matte under my eyes and it would lead to more creasing than I was used to. So I'd really focus this on like my chin and right around my nose because that's where I saw that it worked the best. And I would let it bake around there as well. This is a great affordable loose powder if it works for your skin tone. Unfortunately, they really only have it in one shade, which is just meh. But thankfully, I was able to use it and it worked pretty well for me. Last but certainly not least, I have two setting sprays to talk about. My first one is a face spray that I heard about from the Taylor and it's become one of my favorites. This is from Catrice and this is the Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Setting Spray. The bottle is totally empty. I do love the sprayer on this. It was so even and so fine that I'm going to keep the bottle and put other setting sprays into it because I like it that much. But it just melded all of my powders together beautifully. It gave me just the most subtle of glows and uh, one of the best affordable setting sprays from the drugstore, aside from the Milani one that I also really love. The last setting spray to talk about today is actually from Too Faced. I had this kind of like mini from the peach set that I purchased from Too Faced, and this is the Peach Mist Mattifying Setting Spray. Uh, I haven't been reaching more for like super mattifying sprays recently, but this was still a good spray. It didn't have too strong of a scent to it. It smelled a little bit like their fake peach scent, but I'm totally okay with that. If you're really sensitive to scents, you might not be able to use this one. But I liked this. I just found myself not really wanting a super matte look now, like in the middle of winter. Uh, a side note is this sprayer was garbage. I hated this sprayer. I ended up putting it into another bottle. It was another one of these Catrice bottles to use it up because I hated the sprayer on this. So those are all of my recent empties. Let me know down below what was the last product you used up. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.